Hello, y'all. This is Carol Norby. You're on my Stamp and Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page, or you're on my YouTube channel. This is a no makeup day again. Anyway, I was supposed to have a class today, but things happened and it had to be canceled. So I told those that have were supposed to come or have purchased the kits that I would do a video like I used I was doing last summer for the uh, cards in the class. So that's what's happening today. And so if you're here by accident or on purpose, welcome. And if you didn't get a kit, didn't purchase one, you are still more than more than welcome to stop by and watch. So anyway, we'll get started. Hang on, I'll flip the phone over. Okay, I know one gal wanted me to try doing my phone sideways. There is one issue. It doesn't want to do a video sideways uh, like this. So, um, hopefully we'll get it done. So, mostly, most of my cards, three of them used this die set. All of them used, I think all of them used, yes, all of them used this die set. This is really cool. It has Forever, Yours, Love, and You. Great die set. Um, I've used the daylights out of it. And I've also used this die set uh, on one card, Heart Strip Die. And this card is the one we're going to start with. So I will set these aside. And hopefully I am prepped. This will probably be a long video. So what I did first, I adhered the blue words to the white words. And here you can almost see it. It's kind of offset. Can you see that? I, I didn't mean to offset these, others I did, but I, I want you to adhere them together. Gives them a little more oomph, a little more uh, sturdiness. And I used my Zig Glue Way Glue Two Way Squeeze Pen, and I just dotted on the white, all over the white, and then I adhered my words. And then I used an acrylic block to hold it down and make sure they stayed together. So that's what you're going to do with all your words. So what we're going to do now, those of you that got the kit, you got the white base, folded base. You've got the, the embossed blue. you got a, a teal, and you got a mirrored silver heart strip. So you're going to adhere this to this. So if you're following along fine, you can always pause if, if you are... If you want to wait until the class, the video is over, you can go back and look at it and pause where it needs to be paused so that you can follow along. Same with if you're on my YouTube channel, and I'll get this uploaded as soon as I can. So I'm going to adhere this um, right there. I'm sorry, I, keep, I get out of your vision here. I want to make sure it all lines up. Okay. So that's that. Then I'm going to adhere this strip to this, and I will use another glue. And you can either use your journey glue. If you have a two-way glue pen, that's fine too. Whatever you have in stock. Uh, I have got some new glue coming. It's called Barely Art Glue. And uh, Spellbinders just started carrying it. So I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I had to pay retail for it, so it's not something that I can buy and resell very easily. So, anyway, I'll probably be getting glue all over my my paper. It looks like I have already, but not today. <laughs> and just glue that on there. Sadly, I got a little bit of glue on my fingers, so it's on the mirror, but I'll get a damp rag real quick and wipe that off. I keep a rag handy all the time. There. These cards will probably be going out to family um, pretty soon. Okay, so I got that. So this, make sure the fold is at the bottom, is going to adhere on here. So I'll set stuff aside. When I am playing at my desk, sometimes I get so much stuff on my desk, it's like, 
Okay, I don't have any room. So just so I'm sitting down so I can't see for sure. I want it kind of centered. I can see I need to trim my white cardstock a little bit. There we go. And then these, just gonna go here. And let's see, I gotta grab it out here. Well, where did it go? Here we go. You got some silver hearts in your baggie, and you're gonna use those, but glue these on. And again, use your fine tip pen. And just a little here, a little there. It doesn't take a lot. This is so tiny. Can you see? I can't see what I'm doing because my phone's just a little above eye level. I have to really scrunch up to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put this one here. There you can see the white on it. I did some of this ahead of time so that you wouldn't have to sit and watch me. Okay, it's enough that you have to watch me do this. Okay, forever and yours. I got that a little high. Come down a little bit and wipe that glue off of there. There. Okay, and then the... Uh, and I actually popped these hearts that I'm going to put on. You can't really pop the words too easy, but you can certainly pop the hearts. I don't want to dump all those out. And these hearts came from... These hearts will also be used in another of the cards. So I just cut a strip off of my roll of foam tape. If you have foam squares, that's great. But you do need to cut them to fit. And even then, they might be too big. So you just have to play with your foam. I hurt my thumb the other day. I got a paper cut across the top of it. And needless to say, the skin peeled. So I am... I've got a very sore finger. It's trying to heal, but I keep injuring. <laughs> it's just like every time I turn around, I'm doing something to that thumb, and it's so tender. So, so tender. Let's see if I can get that up a little bit. Good enough. So, and then you just put these around. Actually, I think I gave you five, so I'll just put like two up here. Yeah, I got to trim that a little more. And if you got the kit, you actually got a set of directions, so you have a picture. Then I'm going to put three down this other corner over here. So in the end, I'll just save those for later. Finish later. Get these out of the way. All my little scraps. Oh. I have so much paper poop on my floor at times, it's not even funny. So here's the finished card. So you can see where I put there, how that works. So that is that card, so I will set that aside. And we'll start on the next one. So find a spot for that. Don't hit the phone. <laughs> okay, so I'll grab the next box. We're going to do this card. And where is, oh, there it is. Okay. I thought for a minute, where is it? Can you see that? Okay, so. Now I, again, I glued my detailed heart to my red heart using my Zig Glue. And after you glue it down, put a, a weight on it to hold it down so that you get a good adherence. So you got your card base, your frame, and the top. So we're going to adhere this to the card base. doesn't matter which side, but if you look, you'll see that... Can you see there's a ridge here from my paper trimmer? That should be the underside. It needs to go down. Not much I can do about that at times. We'll just get this glued on. I was going to go walking today, but I got sidetracked. <laughs> I'll have to... Hopefully get on my treadmill later. I started a diet plan. So through Neora. 
used to be Nexium. Nexium, I think. They have really good products. Really good products. A little pricey, but really good products. So then, got that adhered down. And here, just so you can see it real quick, can you see? I offset the words. So I made the gold to be a shadow. I hope you can see that. I can't see what I'm showing. Whoops. Can you see that? The gold is a shadow. Very little. This one, actually the main card, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so now I'll adhere the white. Looking for the for the paper trimmer cut. Oh, this one was cut with a guillotine, so or a, a rotary, so there's no no problems with ridges. Okay. And you're going to center this. It's a very fine layer. And I cut the center out because I use it on this. Okay, so we're going to pop this heart. Get my get my chair back under me. I have a tendency to sit down and not know where my chair is. I have taken some real close tumbles. I hope you don't do that. And my chair is on rollers, so when you go to grab it, <laughs> it takes off. It takes off. So I'm going to put your foam on there, whatever foam you're using. Now, if you go to scrapbook.com, they have some great rolls, and I just got one a while back. This is one inch wide. It is a scrapbook.com adhesive. I'm anxious. I haven't started using it yet because I want to use up this little 3 8 inch one that I have. So, now we're going to center this. Just right about there. You're going to adhere your love and you here. Then you got in your packet some fashion gold pieces. And you're going to adhere them in places there. So I'll let you do that. I won't do it on the film because you can or on the video because you can do it. So that's what you do with that one. So I will set this card aside. Set my container aside and we'll go on to the next card. So we're getting there. We'll do this one next. Make sure I get everything out of my container. I use uh, plastic jewel boxes. Okay, so let's see. You're going to adhere your hearts together again using your fine pen glue. Be sure you cover them uh, with a weight to make sure they get dry. This time you have foam, black foam. For your words again use your I'm not sure I, do, I don't use this on foam I go back to a good craft glue to use on the foam uh, foam has a, a mind of its own and it's sometimes hard to glue so uh, just do it on something where it's not going to get everywhere messy so this one we got our card base you got your textured uh, this has been uh, embossed with mini dots. You're going to pop this piece. So I'll get that done real quick. Or as quick as I can. Now here, when I'm doing so much embossing over the top of it, I actually do a little bit more foam tape because I've got more to hold up. So I do a lot more pieces on here. To give it the, the sturdiness that I, I like. So we'll get these on here. Like I said, I these cards will be going in the mail. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to Phoenix the third for a scrapbook retreat crop, whatever you want to call it, with my friend Carol. We are called Carol Squared. I think last year someone said Carol Ditto. So, or someone said Carol and one of us answered and the other said Ditto. I probably am the one that said Ditto. And, and that kind of <laughs> that kind of took. 
<laughs> she is such a sweetie. Oh, we have good fun together. So, she's same age as my husband. She's got a few, uh, about six years on me. <laughs> You'd never know it. I'm the one with the gray hair. <laughs> okay, so you're going to center that. Okay, you're going to adhere this heart down solid, and this one's going to pop. So, we'll get that. Do some of this a little bit off screen, you know. There. Right about there. Pop this one. I just about snipped my finger that time. I come real close. Okay, I get a lot of my inspiration on Pinterest and places like that. I actually got this a little low. I want to come back down. Okay, now, there we go. About like that. Okay, again, using a good glue, you're going to put your love and you here. And then you got some little hearts in your package and you're going to apply them. So that's basically that card. So just enjoy it. This this is from a pad of glitter paper that I got two or three years ago as a Christmas gift. And there is so much glitter paper in there. Oh my gosh, I'll never use that in my lifetime. Okay, now the final card. This is a shaker. This is going to take a little more time. So, I'm trying to I did not get that in the glued together, apparently. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, so this is the card we're going to make. So I, I will glue that together later. So what you're going to do, you have... Oh, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, you have this piece here. I, I hit it with... Uh, I splattered it with sparkle silk. You have... Oh, I have little silver hearts all over the place okay you have your black piece you have your clear view sheet so what you're going to do first and I'm looking at it you're going to take your black and you're going to adhere it to make sure the fold is down to your main folded card base so we'll get that Real quick. So and center it. Okay. Next, you're going to take your main piece, turn it upside down, and we're going to adhere. Get all these little pieces. Your clear view sheet to it. If you have a good white line tape, score tape, or something, I would recommend that because it'll stick to the clear view sheet a little bit better. So I'm just going to come in here and adhere this. Oh, I purchased a salad to eat. Usually I eat out on Fridays afterwards with some friends uh, after class, but things have changed so much this week. What happened was one of the one of the gals at church came down with a virus, so church is closed, and I was directly uh, sitting next. I was sitting right next to her at a dinner, so I was directly exposed. It's been a week and a half, and I did not get it. But I am staying home for the most part, just to make sure. Okay, so there's that. So we've got this and this. So now you need to put foam around the heart. And this is actually going to take a bunch of time, so... Uh, I'm going to try to hurry, and you want to make sure that you have it completely encased because you do not want 
what you have in your packet to be flying around loose. I actually made a shaker card a while back, a couple of years ago, and it came loose. And all my <laughs> glitter and everything else is everywhere. So I want to make sure I get that right up against there. And I'm getting rather close to the heart because you don't need to have your, your goodies everywhere. This one is just a little long, so I'll come out there and not to waste. I'll just shove it right in there. See, I'm getting them real close. They are touching close. So that's what I like about this foam tape. You can really trim it down. I like the ability to cut. See how I'm doing that? I'm trying to hurry a little bit. So I'll show you. Because I know one of my gals, she's pretty new at this stuff. i move this out of the way. She's pretty new at this stuff, so I want her to, to enjoy her experience and feel like she did a good job. She will have to watch this by YouTube. She is not on Facebook at all. Let's see. i got to figure out how I'm going to do this. i got a little spot right there. I'm just going to see if this will work. I think I need to move that. I'll just get rid of that one. That one's not going to work now anyway. I destroyed it. I'll come in here. Okay. This is a little bit better. You just, you just got to play with it. I don't know how else to say that. I think I cut that one too small. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Just got to work it in there. And I'm going to, there we go. Just like that. And then you need some down across here because this whole card front is going to be on here. So I will do that. So again, get some across the bottom. You can see my hands. I th you might want to maybe put little tiny pieces there. It's up to you. Okay, so that's what that is. So, so now you're going to take your pack and you're going to put, line it up. You know, that's where it's going to go. So you want to make sure that all your goodies and you got the silver hearts and then you got some pink world sequins. But when you put your hearts on here, make sure they're all facing up. You don't want them facing down. That will not look good. And I think I gave you plenty. I tried to make sure you had enough. That thumb is sore. Every time I turn, it's been a while because every time I turn around, I'm hurting it and then it bleeds. So I go get a Band-Aid. And I'll tell you what, I can't have a Band-Aid on that thumb when I take my contacts out at night. That does not work. If you have any of these little pieces, toss them. They do not do any good. So I think there's probably some in every packet. Okay, we're almost there. And I had to cut that thumbnail way down because of the issues I was having with the bleeding. Okay, I'm almost there. Okay, there we go. I'll get that right in there. Make sure that it will be right where I need. Of course, then I flip them over. Okay, here we go. And you can try it out and see before you put it down. Make sure it, yep. Yeah. I'm going to come in there a little bit with that and a little bit with that. There is a lot of static to this, so you have to, you have to be careful. I'll set that aside. Now you have the fun part of getting all your backs off your foam. So when I'm doing stuff like this, the, the, the pieces you take off have a tendency to have a lot of static in them. So I go to throw it on the floor in the garbage and it bounces out. <laughs> so 
So I keep a little whisk broom and dustpan right next to my garbage bag, garbage can. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, I got to get my bloom tool or my tool in one. Those are, make sure they're down. Get those picked up. Oh, I see white all over my floor now. That's funny. One time I went to make a shaker card and I forgot the clear view sheet. I had a frame card. <laughs> I got it all down and I, got, and I go, oh my gosh. Well, I got to the point where I put the, put the together and I couldn't. So I just had a frame card. Okay, so I'm going to get this in a spot where I can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to put it down. Now you may depending on how many you have in there, have to double line it, but you shouldn't have to. I tried to get flat stuff and not give you too much. So that's that. It's in there. It's a little full. So again, glue your, your word forever together and then adhere right there. And that's your class. So that's it. So I'll flip the phone back over. And I will uh, get this film this video uploaded to um, my computer and then I'll upload it to YouTube. I will send out emails to the gals that uh, that have uh, applied for the that took the class, <laughs> got the kits. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We got three eighths of an inch of rain yesterday and I think we're supposed to get hit again uh, Saturday through Wednesday. We need the rain. And I'll be staying home. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Um, thank you for coming by. And my ladies, we'll get together next month. Wait till you see what I have in store. I have a, a, a giraffe card that's just the most adorable. And you just have to take my word for it. So anyway, we'll catch y'all later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.